but poverty weaker in real terms. Foreigners will actually buy, okay, but we will buy less. So X goes up, N goes down. I S shift to the right, okay, and then we reach point. Leave the diagram alone, but very clear. Interest rate goes up. Okay, massive capital inflow. Income goes up, and X negative. Okay, so we should be competent to do horizontal BP to know that this is massive, whereas this is insignificant. So we don't need to assign numbers. Massive means it's billions of dollars because it's perfect capital mobility. Funds will literally rush into the country. Right? So in this case, we know the BP is a surplus. The currency will strengthen. So this is the short run effect when foreign country, our buyers, okay, or our trading country has an inflation. They will buy more from us shift our IS to the right, benefiting us where interest rate and income goes up, resulting us to have a BP surplus. But this surplus is not due to NX, the surplus is very much due to massive capital inflow. Okay, right, then you analyze whether the, in the long run it is beneficial by looking at the exchange rate. Okay, so if under fixed exchange rate, government will now sell the local currency. Okay, currency is too strong because everybody requires it. So if there's a high demand, government must supply. So we say government sell. In this case, we know money supply increase. So we know the LM will shift down. Okay, so I look at my diagram and I check, and I don't draw, I just put an arrow down. And I realize in this case, interest rates at point B, if I shift the LM down, it will drop. And it must go back to exactly I star 1, which is in this case, point E. Okay, right, so I don't draw too many lines already. And in this case, at point D, you can see Income increase. Right? So this tells you if foreign countries have inflation and if I am practicing fixed exchange rate, I will benefit from that inflation. The first round that I benefited was NX positive. The second round I benefited okay, was actually investment goes up. Right? Okay, of course we don't need to write it here. We merely just need to say LM shift down, interest rate drop. But intuitively, investment went up. That's why output increases. Okay, right? So that was fixed exchange rate. But now if you are doing flexible exchange rate, okay, the E that goes up will now increase in real terms. Right? So it will worsen your NX. Okay, that your import will go up and now your IS will have to shift left. Okay, so look at your diagram at point B. If your IS will to shift left, means along LM1. Again, you can see interest rates will drop. And you know it must go back to I star 1. Now you are at point A. And change in income is 0. Okay, so this is the effects of foreign inflation. Would you benefit or not? The answer is depends. If you are doing fixed exchange trade, you go to D on the right. You benefit. It. But if you are doing flexible exchange trade, you don't benefit at all. You go back to the original point A. And leave it like that. Don't draw. Alright, putting the points is so much neater than you draw and you think you earn the favour from the examiner. You don't. Alright, just leave it as it is. But question usually don't end like this. Question usually will discuss, in this case, foreign country raise interest rates. 
Okay, so if they were to raise interest rate, you may want to copy this point in. Okay. So right below the heading, if foreign country raise interest rates. Tells you it can be above point B or between A and B. Right, so forward interest rate goes up, look at the diagram, you are at I star 1. But now the BP must shift up. So there is a choice between A to B, or between A and B, or above point B. Okay, so in the lecture notes, we're going to demonstrate what if it is above point B. It's easier. You can go back and practice between A and B. Okay, so at your current equilibrium, okay, you can copy this. If you find that there's not enough space in your notes, you may want to attach your blue paper. Okay, right? So you are at current equilibrium income, uh, equilibrium point B. Okay, then you versus BP2, which is above point B. You are now at point B, but BP now is above it. So that tells you your interest rate is lesser than I star 2. Okay, so if you can't see, okay, this is what I do. Go to the diagram, look at point B, pick a different colour, just the interest rate. 